Lynn Ross and founder of the Institute Dramed College of Advanced Aesthetics. I've decided to make this video today with Dave Kurkowski of Aesthetic Solutions so that our students interested in laser certification will know exactly what will be covered over the two-day course. So Dave, if you just talk a little bit about Aesthetic Solutions and why you decided to get into the business of laser and then offering education sure. for practitioners that are interested in providing laser to their clients and patients. Sure. We at Aesthetic Solutions have been open for many years and we've worked with estheticians uh, and, and med spas as well um, in the industry and what we found was there was a great need. A lot of estheticians want to be laser techs, however without the experience and especially the hands-on experience they were lacking. So this course is designed to give them the physics uh, as well as the safety and of course again the hands-on to give them what they need. Now many of you have been calling us and asking us what's included because as you know training is an investment in yourself. So I have a list of questions here that we'll be going over for you today and one of the main questions that we've been asked is what type of licensing is required in order to become certified as a laser technician. So Dave, if you would just speak to that, sure. please, for the students. That's a great question. I get it all the time. Um, people will say, I'm in a school and I um, am you know, aiming to get my, my license in aesthetics, but do I need the license before I do the class? And the answer is no, all right? If your objective is to move on and work in the field, uh, you do not have to have your license. And some of the other people have asked about, do you have to be a nurse in order to uh, obtain your certification in laser? No. No, you do not. Right. Not at all. Is there any prerequisite uh, required before taking the training? There is not. Again, as long as someone is in the field um, medically, uh, being a nurse again, as you said, or uh, is planning to work in the field of aesthetics overall. And then, Dave, if you would just cover for us, what are the different laser devices that you offer training uh, over the two-day course, and really, what's involved in learning about those different devices? There's so many on the market today, so if you could just talk a little bit about that. Sure. All right, so when we do the class, or right, we start, it's almost like a story. We start with uh, the history, because I think that's important, and we work through the physics of regular devices that are on the market today and then uh, you know, all the different wavelengths, all the different pieces, and then what we do is we, we talk about new technology, all right? And actually, I have a piece here uh, for you all to see. It yeah, is, this is a very interesting yeah. little device here. Yes. This is, uh, this is an example. quite high tech. It is, it's an example of how the consolidation of devices is occurring out in the industry. It's happened with cell phones, it's happened with computers, and now it's happening with lasers, all right? This is a piece that we use actually in the class, all right? and we work well with uh, pigmented lesions, vascular lesions, we do a lot of hair removal, we work on leg vessels, uh, we do cherinogiomas, all different types of treatments. Again, the, and the main thing is hands-on. Right, and the students, Dave, will they actually uh, perform the hands-on, receive the treatments as well? Sure, yeah, both, all right? We think it's important that uh, to become a good laser attack, you have to be able to give the treatments and you have to receive them, all right? So uh, we typically work on each other the most. Sometimes there's a model if, uh, or two, but we really want to have each of the participants receive the treatments and again, give them uh, to, to their classmates. Okay. One of the other questions that um, we're hearing a lot from you is, what type of uh, clinic do I need to have a medical doctor working with me in order to administer a laser procedure to a client? Yeah, all right. It's a great question. It comes up a lot as well. And the answer is um, every state is different. However, in most states within the Southeast, um, you have different classifications of laws, all right? The, the NEO, the Aerolase NEO is a class four device. And if someone were to use it, it would need to be used in a medical office. Uh, we also use, and I don't have it here, but we use an IPL for the class as well, which is a class two device. And again, states vary, but in most states within the southeast, um, it is, because it's a class two, you don't have to have a doctor on site. You have to have a, what we call a medical director, um, and you know, that's not hard to, to arrange. 
Okay, and we'll go into more specifics about the legalities of operating and the insurance required sure. during the two-day certification, of course, so that you're very comfortable with that. Um, and what about this 16-hour course and credited or CE hours? How is that going to work for us? Well, uh, what happened was um, several years ago there was, a, in, in Georgia anyway, there was a big fight in the legislature. And uh, the, the resolution to that was 16 hours of training, right? We do provide 16 hours. It's eight hours, of course, each day. Uh, we don't at this time have it CE'd. Um, but that really hasn't been, you know, a detriment to it because, again, it's the experience and getting to that next level with someone who is, is wanting to hire a laser tech. That's the main thing, all right? They're not asking you if you have the CEs. It's do you have the experience? Exactly, which is why we provide this training, especially in our five-day uh, medical aesthetic certification, and now with the addition of the laser training, it's going to give new practitioners or practitioners who have not been practicing medical aesthetics the experience and the confidence really that they need to go in and apply for a job working in a medical clinic, office, or uh, that type of high level or high performance environment. Yes. And one of the things too that's even confusing to me, which I'm sure it is to a lot of you, is what are the diff what's the difference in all the different courses that are out there? We see three week courses, one week courses, and as you said, uh, our state, Georgia, really requires 16 hours of training. So, you know, what could we understand the difference to be? That's a great question. All right, again, not to be redundant, but comes up all the time. So here's our objective with this class. Uh, we initially put it together to help estheticians as well as nurses to get it uh, in and gain employment from this class. Occasionally, and it doesn't happen very often, but occasionally we'll have someone in one of our classes who will say, you know, this, this really isn't for me, right? Um, and we would rather have that happen in a two-day class where, you know, as opposed to someone spending eight or nine thousand uh, dollars in a 40-hour course or going to a whole other state, you know, with travel expenses and realizing that. Uh, those courses are good and they have their place, but we would say down the line, right? Let's give someone some good uh, education so that they understand physics, safety, and again, the main thing, hands-on, so they have the confidence to work with the devices. And then as someone progresses in their career, then it may be wise, you know, for them to pursue one of those courses. Well, as an esthetician that owns a couple of laser devices and I administer, the, administer them in my practice, what Dave is saying is exactly uh, correct. One of the hardest things for me to wrap my mind around was the laser physics so that I would have the confidence to treat safely. And that's what Dave is saying. He's going to really focus for you on the laser physics component so you really, really, really get that part because whatever clinic that you uh, go to or become hired in as a result of your certification here, um, that office will train you in whatever specific device yes. they have already purchased for that office. The main thing is, is that you understand what's happening when you fire that laser. Exactly. Is that right? It is, it is, all right. And our, our intention is to, we can't obviously train everyone on every device out there, but again, as Lynn's saying, if you understand the physics, you can take that information and you can apply it to any device that you will be uh, used to. So that, that's the big deal. Right? And that information, we, we provide a binder so that you can refer to it over and over again. Um, and because, you know, people sometimes I'll hear, gosh, you know, I, I went through this and then something happened, you know, personally and it was six months before I started to pursue, you know, an occupation in this. Uh, and I had that resource where I could go back and all the information came back to me. All right. So we want to give that for them. Sure, so you'll be receiving, along with uh, the training that Dave will provide, uh, what he's calling the Laser Bible, and that will have every document and uh, training explained and described in full detail for you, as well as you'll be receiving uh, hands-on, so that you're comfortable and confident uh, with la different laser devices, laser physics, and knowing you know, the dangers, kind of more importantly, really the safety precautions yeah. that are so important 
when administering one of these devices. Is there anything else that you'd like to add, Dave? Uh, well, you know, a, a lot of times it's it's a little bit, sometimes a leap of faith. Someone says, gosh, you know, it's, it's a little bit of an investment of money. However, we've never had not one person who's gone through it say this wasn't worth it, all right? Uh, they, they've loved the class and we keep them small enough, all right, where again, the education is quality. We don't put 40 or 50 people, you know, in a classroom. That, that wouldn't serve anyone, all right? So we keep it small so that everyone gets what they need to have. Excellent, excellent. Well, I know I'm really excited. Uh, and I'll be in the class for two days myself. Yep. Can never gain enough knowledge when it comes to administering these high performance treatments. And Dave and I look forward to seeing you in class. Thanks.